Hello guys, welcome to the next video of our YouTube channel, Go Physics. The universe or the realm of mysteries has always called upon the brightest of human minds to rise above their own moral selves to answer the most bizarre of the mysteries of cosmos, to go beyond the unknown in their quench for thirst of knowledge and curiosity. In its most profound realization, the universe has always filled the human mind with awe. The perplexing nature of the universe that surrounds us has led humanity to ponder questions that are still a mystery. Their numbers that are so big, we fail to count them. So let us talk about the most mysterious to such unanswered questions that have haunted humanity and may so to the eternity. What is beyond the edge of our universe? The data gathered from the observation of cosmic microwave background radiation has suggested about the uneven expansion of the universe, but also about the shape of our very own universe. Seeing it as a whole tells us how the universe is nearly spherical, suggesting that there may not be an end to its vastness of infinite space. However, everyday observation of stars shows it to be flat yet never ending. So, is the universe flat or spherical? We are not so sure about it. And citing the question, is there any edge to the universe as we know it? The matter-antimatter asymmetry problem. We are aware of the general fact that there was nothing before the Big Bang. According to our present knowledge of the Big Bang, we know that the Big Bang created equal amounts of matter and antimatter. So why is there far more excess of matter than antimatter? Why don't we see antimatter in our daily life? Had antimatter been so, there should have been antimatter galaxies, antimatter people, but we don't come across them at all. Why does this happen? Various solutions have been given by various scientists like Stephen Hawking, who tries to answer this problem with the help of standard model of particle physics concerning the quark and antiquarks. But what exactly happened is an unknown mystery which we cannot Imagine what be the fate of our universe. The end of the universe as we know it, physicists still argue over the question related to the end of everything. The fate of our very own universe and us with it largely depends on the fight for dominance of the universe between dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter is trying to keep the galaxies together. On the other hand, dark energy is trying to rip them apart. Are we alone in the universe? It is perhaps one of the biggest and fundamental questions that haunt our imaginations. The fact that we are not alone in this universe would challenge the notion of the human mind in its notion sense of the uniqueness and may incite conflict over the concept of God. NASA's Kepler mission has discovered thousands of planets beyond Earth, teaching us there are literally billions of planets for supporting Earth-like life in our galaxy alone. But the universe contains billions of galaxies, so the chances of intelligent life existing are very high. But what if we are special? and are the only intelligent species 
in this realm of cosmos that makes us quite special. What is dark energy? Analysis of the data received from the Hubble Space Telescope concerning the spectrum of light coming from various galaxies shows that the spectrum has been redshifted. Data suggests that the space-time fabric of the universe is expanding non-uniformly at a speed greater than the speed of light in all directions at a non-accelerating rate. This implies that the galaxies are moving far away from each other at a steady non-uniform rate. There must be a mysterious force that is giving the galaxies this extra push. This mysterious force is said to have been provided by the dark energy. Dark energy plays an even greater role in cosmic evolution than dark matter. It acts in opposition to gravity and has an unknown form dominating the whole universe. What is dark matter? Dark matter, as the name suggests, is an unknown mystery giving shape to our very own universe as we see it. The amount of matter that constitutes the galaxies is not enough to hold the swimming galaxies together. Scientists believe that dark matter may account for the unexplained motion of stars within galaxies. The observed gravitational effects cannot be explained with the widely accepted theory of gravity unless more matter is present that cannot be observed with formal techniques. Calculations show that many galaxies would fly apart or that they wouldn't have formed or would not move as they do if they did not contain a large amount of unseen matter. Unlike normal matter, dark matter doesn't interact directly with the electromagnetic force, but it does interact with normal matter through gravity. This makes it extremely hard to spot in the extreme vastness of the space. The Big Bang The birth of our universe One of the easiest questions to ask, yet the one which has meddled with the minds of physicists for more than a century. The question that triggers the human intellect is that, what triggered it? Why did it happen? Was there anything before the Big Bang? Did God create the universe? It is a topic of hot interest among the physicists with varied opinions from both sides. Some argue that Big Bang was in the beginning while some say that our notion of time came after the Big Bang. So any event before the Big Bang will not affect the modern universe. Therefore, any event happening before the Big Bang should be of no consideration. Cosmologist Alexander Vilenkin, on the other hand, believes that Big Bang wasn't a one-off event, but merely one of a series of Big Bangs creating an endless number of bubble universes. This creates an endless cycle of all possible events that can happen and will happen, taking away the notion of free will. For all we know, that truth could be far from reality. What is gravity? The notion of physics began with the question asked by Sir Isaac Newton that what is gravity? Which further led to various advancements in physics in the years that followed. Later, when Einstein formulated his theory of relativity, defining gravity as an effect of curvature in space-time. After the discovery of standard models of particle physics, Gravity was defined to be a force carrier by a force carrying particle graviton, which carried force from one body to another. After the discovery of black holes and electroweak theory, physicists are still not sure as to what is gravity actually. It is almost ironic to the fact that the question which gave birth to modern physics still hasn't been 
answered till now. What's inside a black hole? Black holes are the most fascinating, unusual and most dangerous objects of the universe that you would ever come across. In simple terms, it is defined as a place where entire mass of the star has been concentrated, such that gravity becomes so enormous that not even light can escape it. At the center of the black hole, where the entire mass of the star is compressed, we get what we know as a singularity. The gravitational pull there is so infinite that quantum interactions hold, inviting the grand unified theory to take charge. This theory is said that it will reconcile quantum mechanics with the theory of general relativity and will explain all phenomena of physics in the observable universe. Since human intellect is not much advanced yet to answer such a mysterious question, question of what lies inside a black hole is a complete mystery. Thank you guys for watching our video. If you like the video, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Go Physics!